Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and in this one we're going to be taking a look at my newest engine and that is a v-twin engine now you may think it looks a lot like the boxer engine that i did last week and you're right it does and that's just because it uses the same cylinders as you see and it uses the same concept for frame wise in order to hold up the cylinders now you'll notice it is at a 90 degree v angle it's widely um debated upon which one is better like a 70 degree or a 90 degree but it really depends on what you're looking for in the engine but to be honest it's not that important for the lego side of things because these engines can't really power anything anyway but let's move on so to start off reviewing the engine i have actually taken off the flywheel in order for you to see the best view of the bottom of this um, engine i get a lot of questions on how the frame was made and let's go over it so you'll notice that at the bottom there are two lego brick technic beams that go across and attach to the base plate and the base plate provides a lot of stability and yeah so going straight up from that we actually have the beam that supports the crankshaft so directly next to it we have the two beams that come up and support the cylinders now actually you have to extend it out taller in order for the cylinder to fit at a 90 degree angle so that's what i did i actually took these nine long technic beams like this and attach them to these that go up and around and attach to the top now that's just the basics of the bottom bracket and it's a similar story for the other side as you can see it is the same setup and i have a separate beam here or separate brick here that attach that keeps the valve in place now this is very important because if that wasn't there, it would actually just pop off because it wouldn't have anything to support it. Now this engine does and it gives it a lot more smooth smoothness and um, running capabilities and it's a lot more stable as well. So next up on the sides, we actually have these here. Now what these do is really help the engine be stable because you'll notice um, I can kind of move it around. Now, if those weren't there, I could actually move the engine like this and it could tilt on its beams and it's not really possible to secure it in any other way because this right here, this central beam that goes across is the only um, measurement that is actually compatible with the Legos. So anywhere from here and down is not compatible. So you can't put any beams across and have them fit completely. So yeah, so that's why I put it all the way up here in order to make sure it is stable enough because then the cylinders, if these weren't connected, would just flop down. You don't need that. Moving on to the intake manifold, as you can see, it is actually not directly able to be attached to the engine. And that's just because the actual angle, unfortunately, is not compatible and can't go straight across. And that's the issues that I've run into while building these engines. Also, I'd like to point out that so this might be the first of its kind of the type of valve system that we have. Most of I've seen have the overhead valves that go across and the vacuum would go right in here. But actually, that's not the case with this one. The vacuum goes here and they split and go into these two two holes and as you can see i've made paper gaskets so that they make a great seal so like i said it's supported and it looks very big but that's just because i use the two two wide walls in order to create a better seal like i said so yeah um i'm going to put this on it just attaches to the base plate and it lines up to the engine like this and the holes line up and now we'll put the flywheel back on and run the engine 
Okay, so now I'm going to run the engine. I would like to point out that this is one of my slowest running engines, despite having a lot of performance tunes and upgrades. So don't hoard me in the comments about how I can make it faster, because I really, really can't, to be honest. So yeah, let's run it. the engine i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you learned something so if you have any questions or comments please don't hesitate to hit me up in the comments below and i will see you all in the next video and sneak peek i am actually going to be making a inline 2 next time version 2 so improved from the old one so stay tuned and i'll see you next time